Hi everyone, Shaky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today is a very exciting day because Munchpack has turned 10 years old. And to celebrate, I have received a family Munchpack. And this is so exciting because I've never gotten the family pack before. I've gotten the five pack one and I've gotten the 10 pack one. But this has 20 treats inside from all around the world. So because I cannot try 20 treats within one sitting, well actually I could, but you don't need to see that on camera. We'll do two separate videos. So watch out tomorrow for part two. Now I must say that over the years of all the subscription boxes I have received, I think that Munch Pack is definitely number one because they are reliable, the treats are always good, the variety is good in there and it's international treats so it's from all around the world. 10 years is a really great achievement and I'm so excited for Munch Pack to be celebrating 10 years. So let's have a look at what's in the box. Uh -huh. oh. Uh-huh, that's to protect it. Oh, how exciting. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes. I have a little leaflet here to let me know exactly what snacks are inside. And today, this is exciting because usually what happens, like you get your mini and it goes from there to there. And then you got original, which goes from there to there. But today, I got it all, baby. I got it all. <laughs> I know, so excited. I'm about to eat a family munch pack all by myself. Oh! Do you what? No, that's a soda. That's an upgrade. So I probably won't get that. I've never received a soda. So calm your farm. I may not get that one. What I'm going to do is pick out 10 treats from this box to try first up and do that. And then we'll do part two tomorrow and try another 10. So one, two... I've got a soda. Oh my gosh, I've got a soda. Oh. <laughs> Try that one tomorrow because I've got to refrigerate it. Someone's got to calm themselves. What is this? Are you serious? There's no way in the world. It's an actual munch pack chocolate. How have they done this? Well, let me see. Hang on a second. We've got to look at the thing. And I'm trying this one today. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you actually receive this one here in the mini pack as well as the original and the family pack. It's a Munch Pack birthday cake crunch bar. They've got their own chocolate bar for this celebration. Does it get any better? 10 year treat. Oh, that's definitely getting tried today. I banged it on the table. I hope I didn't break it out of excitement. It's funny, after all these years, I still get just as excited when a munch pack turns up. So these are all the things I'm going to try today. And this is tomorrow's taste test. So don't miss out on that one because there's some really exciting things in the second one. You know what's exciting too is that even though I have done so many taste tests throughout the years, there are still things in here that I have never tried or seen before. First up, I'm going to try this one here, which feels very nutty. Gratinat lime peanuts from Colombia. These lime peanuts are a game changer. Each nut is salted and then generously sprinkled with a distinct zesty sour lime flavor to deliver a bright and vibrant snack. Oh! Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. So, uh, there they are. Little peanuts. Oh! Mmm! Oh. Wow! Mm -hmm. Yeah, they weren't wrong. They're really, really zesty. And they have a nice amount of salt in there as well. Beautiful little peanuts. I love the zest in the zing from the lime in them. I love the flavor that they've gotten into these nuts. Very nice. I wouldn't have thought that peanuts could be so exciting, but they are. Sunshine Snacks Ole and it's Extreme Ranch Tortilla Chips. These are from Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, that's cool. I have never tried anything from there before. Well, not that I know of. Crunchy Tortilla Chips with a zesty ranch flavor. Yes, made with cheddar and romaine cheese. Romano, no, I've said that wrong. Romaine's a lettuce. Romano cheese. Real buttermilk, bell peppers, and a symphony of spices. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm hmm. What a lovely flavor these corn chips have in them. I really like that smoothness from the ranch and a little bit of cheddar and then a little tiny bit of spice as well. Really delicious corn chip. This is something that I would get again if it was in the supermarkets here. I love the flavor that they've managed to get into these little corn chips. These are really good. How beautiful does this one look? It's got to be from Japan. Yep, there it is. It's from Japan. Mieto tiaki fuku fuku. 
Thai chocolate. Similar to Taiyaki street food, this wafer is fish shaped, but instead of being red bean paste filling, you'll find delicious aerated chocolate featuring a subtle name change, Puku Puku, instead of Puku Puku, translates to good luck. Oh, I like that. There it is. And oh, it is so beautiful. Mmm, the wafer is really light and airy and fluffy and then inside you've got that beautiful milk chocolate that's also aerated and fluffy. So the texture is really good. It's got a nice crunch to it and the flavor is good as well. It's very simple, the flavors, but really nicely done. Love it. Fish and chips and this looks like a very British thing. It's a grab bag and it's from Burton's. Lashings of salt and vinegar. Flavor baked snacks. I think I might have had these before but look honestly, British do chips and crisps really well and it is actually in fish and chip shape. So there you go. It's definitely from the UK. A classic British dish made into a convenient snack. These crispy fish shaped potato biscuits are baked with a lashing of salt and vinegar to truly capture the flavor of traditional fish and chips. They are biscuits, crackers, they're not chips. I love the way that it's got the newsprint as well on the outside because back in the day when I was young they used to wrap fish and chips in paper like newspaper and um, then probably, I don't know, people probably started getting poisoned from it and uh, they stopped it. <laughs> oh wow, you can smell the vinegar straight up. British people really love their vinegar on things, you know, really do. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. So you've got your little chip shape and then your fish. Oh. Mm. Beautiful vinegar flavor in it. Nice bit of salt as well. Crispy, crunchy crackers. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, these are nice. I love that they're in fish and chip shape too. That makes it so much more fun. Definitely a delicious snack. This next one's from Lotti and it is a choco pie. Oh, black sugar milk tea flavor. Isn't that cool? Is it from South Korea? A satisfying snack that blends the flavors of black sugar milk tea with the beloved choco pie. Featuring a classic marshmallow layer infused with creamy tea milk flavor. Then coated in delicious milk chocolate. Oh! Oh, it feels really nice and light and it's flaking apart. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, really unique, interesting flavor. I do like it. It's a little bit like a moon pie, but it's got a little bit more moisture in it than a moon pie. You can actually see those different layers inside there. The black sugar milk tea flavor gives it a really nice taste to it. Almost tastes like a caramelized sugar with tea combined and the flavor is really quite strong all the way through it. Very light coating of chocolate on the outside, but it's really good. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Lush puppy sherbet tubies bar. Strawberry and lemon lime flavor sour fizz bar. Oh, it's from the UK. So chewy taffy bar. Spotlighting a delightfully sour sherbet fizz for a unique candy creation. This bar features dual colors and fl oh, flavors of strawberry and lemon and lime. Oh, <clears throat> wasn't expecting it to look like this. Isn't it pretty? Smells funny. There's a little bit of fizzy sherbet stuff in the middle there. How exciting if you like that kind of thing. I don't like it. <laughs> it's a little bit sour. The taste is okay, but it tastes really sweet and artificial. You can taste lemon in there, but then what's the other flavor in there? I don't like it, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, yeah, you know, what they've done is they've put a really fake strawberry sort of taste through it, so I'm not really a fan of this one. But if you're really into chewy candy that's super sweet, then you would probably like this, but it's not, nah, not. Nah, that's no thank you. Going to try this one next, and it looks like it's another savory snack. It is holiday chicken chips, papas toras, sabor a salsa de tomate. So it is actually tomato flavor in there. Ketchup flavor? Oh, wait, 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 but then they've got chicken as well. Holiday chicken chips. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm asking if it's chicken <laughs> and it's called chicken chips. Papas toros, so they're a potato snack. It's roasted potato snack with a zesty ketchup seasoning. Inside the bag you'll discover both crunchy sticks and drumstick shaped treats. Wow, and this is from Trinidad and Tobago as well. Oh, oh, 
Oh, they're really, really light and fluffy. And the shape of them, you're not going to believe this. It's like a little chicken drumstick and a chip. Very cool. Oh, oopsie. Mmm. <laughs> See, I don't usually like ketchup flavored chips, right, and crisps, but this has a really strong, almost roasted, simmered down, tomato-y flavor that's really nicely done in here. Mmm, yum. Yeah, the tomato flavor is quite strong, but good. Mmm, really good. The other thing is too, they're really light and airy, so you can see inside there, texture's really good, flavor's really good. I didn't know these existed. <laughs> They're really good. Love it. Next up, we have a little bar, and it is called Trento Duo. And this one is from Brazil. Trento is the perfect combination of crunchiness, creaminess, and rich chocolate in one bar. This ultra-crunchy wafer is filled with vanilla flavor and double-coated in white and milk chocolate. Oh, see? Oh, no, 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 no. It's uh, falling apart a little bit. All right. Oh, oh! There's two bars in here, like little stick fingers. How cool. Mm. You don't know how good it is. Wow. Mm. Beautiful and chocolatey. It's a chocolate lover's dream because it's coated in chocolate. And then you've got like a wafer, which is also chocolate. And then you've got white chocolate and milk chocolate in the middle. So it's like chocolate, 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 chocolate. Yum. Really a nice texture as well when you bite into it. Love it. Look at this one it says crayon on it it looks like a crayon as well and it's got a little twisty thing on it dulce sabor mango so it's mango flavor so this one is from mexico lorena crayon mango this crayon shaped dispenser holds more than an ounce of gooey fruity candy gel with a tart mango flavor just twist the crayon base for more all right, I don't know if this one really appeals to me, and it's a gel. I mean, I, I would never choose to go and eat a gel. Okay, it tells you to, like, twist the bottom right, but I don't know if I have to pull off a, um... <laughs> Probably going to ruin the look of this, because you can't just twist it. It won't just come out straight away, will it? No, see, that's no. I'm ruining it. <laughs> that's why they have instructions for people like me to misinterpret you see i'm just wondering if there's another top here which i can't see and what i'm about to do is i'm about to ruin the look of this forever yeah if you want to make something look awful just ask me how i've just pulled the thing off because i thought is it just sort of nah seriously i can't open this i mean i have really really twisted this does something come off or out maybe <laughs> do you like my little rocket my little crayon feeling like such a goof right now <laughs> i was sort of thinking well maybe if you sort of twist the top of it but then i can't get a hold of it oh i've got it <gasps> so it's like a gooey stuff inside here see i thought you were gonna like twist it and then it would like pop at the top but it can't because there's no hole in the top actually the flavor's not bad mm. Mm -hmm. I like it more than I thought it would. Mm, mm, mm. The mango flavor is really lovely and sweet in it. So it is just a gooey sort of gel stuff that you eat. And then you twist this. And as you can see, oh, oh, there it comes. It looks like you're about to eat a brain. It's like you turned a sweet candy into goo. And then you eat it. And I'm actually getting used to it as I go along. It's quite sugary and sweet. As a kid, I think I would have absolutely loved this one. Something as an adult I would never ever get because I don't eat goo. No, I actually don't mind this one. Next up, I have another chocolatey looking thing, and this one's called Tortika Original from Croatia. A chocolate lover's dream snack. Take a bite of four crisp wafers, each layered with a chocolate and then enveloped in rich dark chocolate. Oh, very, very lightly coated with chocolate. It's sort of flaking apart a little bit. Wafers are nice and light and crispy. Then you've got a very, very thin coating of chocolate, which I don't mind because I don't think you'd want it any thicker than that because the chocolate itself is quite rich, being dark chocolate. And then you've got those chocolatey layers of cream stuff in the middle there as well. Really quite tasty and very nice if you're a chocolate lover. I've left this one until last because I feel like it's the star of the show being the Munch Pack 10 year anniversary chocolate. So I'm really hoping that it's good after all of this. I'm sorry if I don't like it in advance. It's birthday cake crunch. In the 
past when I've had birthday cake flavor, it usually just means lots and lots and lots of sugar, which I'm not objecting to. I feel like it's really unique and special. So this is from the USA and it is Munch Pack Birthday Cake Crunch Bar. In celebration of Munch Pack's 10 year anniversary, we've created this custom white chocolate bar to mimic the flavors of a classic birthday cake. Adorned with festive sprinkles and airy puffed rice. It's got rice crisps in it. Oh. It just got better. I like the bright packaging. I love the way it's wrapped. It's got the paper on the outside and then the foil in the inside, which is gold, which makes it feel more special. Here we go. <gasps> it's blue. I was not expecting it to be blue. They did just say white chocolate. I guess you can't say blue chocolate. I mean, it's very, very pretty, isn't it? Let's have a look inside it. You can actually see there's little Rice Krispies in there. And little sprinkles as well. It's very festive, very magical. It's actually pretty good. I don't mind it. Like, I was actually expecting not to like this, to be honest, because I don't usually like birthday cake flavored things. They're usually too sweet. And this is too sweet. Don't get me wrong, it's too sweet. But then you get that nice crunch from the sprinkles and also the crispiness of the rice krispies throughout it. I don't really know if I'm enjoying the blueness of it. <laughs> <laughs> but it is very festive and I can understand why they have made it blue. It really does make it unique. Mm -mm. Wow, very unexpected. Very, very cool though. So excited to do part one of this video, but get excited because part two is tomorrow, so don't miss that. Happy birthday, Munch Pack. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you tomorrow for part two. Bye.